I can't get enough of this view. Another day, another vlog. Welcome to my world. Leo, Twain the corner an island. There's an island that is a couple of kilometers away from Malindi Marine Park. So you gotta board a boat to get there unless you're a good swimmer but come on man you just gotta go with a boat so they all have names and ours is called alibaba and there it is and we are gonna go with that <laughs> Sasa, katika mipaka ya marine park, hakuna kufanya uvuvi. You cannot fish under the territories of marine park. Let me tell you why not. I know it looks <laughs> a bit scary, but it's not. It's actually, it's not scary because the waves are not as huge. There's just tiny waves to make the boat just sail to where it's going. So it's not as scary. So we are almost approaching the island. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just at the far end. And we are finally here. The lighting, oh my gosh, it was so phenomenal. I had to take a couple of photos and videos. <laughs> So after seeing the island, we were going snorkeling. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying we, because I don't even know how to swim. So let's just go and see it. <laughs> I'm 
That's where the snorkeling is supposed to happen. But this wasn't snorkeling because snorkeling is supposed to have a hollow tube held in your mouth, which is used by swimmers for breathing underwater. But here, they just give you a goggle and you are told to dive in. So it's not snorkeling per se. Inside the boat, there is a transparent glass for people like me who can't swim. So you're still able to see what's happening. <laughs> there is plenty of fish on this side because Malinda Marine Park, like I told you before, they don't allow fishing. <laughs> Let me tell you, the type of stories that the captain was telling us was so hilarious. Oh my gosh, I had the best time actually. Really did. So we got onto a tuk tuk and we are heading to Malindi town. So let's go! So I did tell you on the previous vlogs that Malindi town is still a developing town so there isn't actually much to see. Also there are plenty of Italians here who are actually residents and have also intermarried with the locals. 
wanamtia na chumvi wanamuuza kwa pesa wapo walo kulangisi ikisha wakaharisha wanamtia na chumvi wanamuuza kwa pesa wapo walo kulangisi ikisha wakaharisha If I was in Nairobi right now, probably my phone would have been snatched. But Malindi is quite a safe area, I would say. I'm yet to be proven otherwise, but so far I would say it's such a safe place. So this is basically their city center where commercial activities take place and they actually do have every single commercial activity that is in the big cities. So I did get to visit some local hotels which were serving local cuisines, swirly dishes. I don't take anything that comes out of the water, sadly, but we had that in plenty from fish, lobsters, prawns, you name it all. So I just had some biryani. I did taste the mishikaki, but I didn't like it. I do like uh, mishikaki in general, but for this particular hotel, I didn't like it. So we did try out some street food, but for this particular video, I'm just going to be showing you one, which is zegar, fries and eggs, but sadly, I didn't like it either. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh,